if you're looking for the best gaming PC, here's the list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we have included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the 7th position of our list, we have CLX Z Gaming. If you want excellent QHD performance and dedicated hardware for ray tracing, all in a sleek package with a beautiful glass panel and brilliant RGB lighting, the CLX Z Gaming is an excellent deal. Packing a Ryzen 7 2700, plenty of CPU for gaming and multitasking and a GeForce RTX 2070. NVIDIA's mid-series card loaded with hardware to support ray tracing as well as DLSS. The set gaming from CLX is a fantastic machine that's priced very competitively. As of this writing, it's discounted even further down to $1,255 at Walmart from its normally excellent starting price. Being right in the middle of the RTX pack means the 2070 is easily capable of handling the current pool of games that feature ray tracing at solid frame rates at 1440p or even 4K depending on the game and your settings. And the set gaming also packs a speedy SSD you can use as a boot drive while saving the 1TB HDD for games and storage. For the specs, you won't find a machine close to this price point, so the set gaming is an easy recommend, especially if you can grab it during the current sale. Next at number 6, we have HP Omen Obelisk. There's something sort of mystical about the obelisk that encapsulates some of the most exciting facets of our hobby. The sleek, hard angles of this HP rig mirror the object it's named after, a dense black cube of potentiality ready to unleash the most beautiful and intense games of this generation. True to that design, the obelisk is trim and compact and powerful. It cuts away the fat, eschewing overblown RGB lighting, or the elaborate tentacles of a liquid cooling setup, focusing instead on delivering sheer performance at a very attractive price. It's also highly customizable with a range of builds that start at the very affordable and peak up near some truly dizzying heights. For around the $2,000 mark, the Obelisk comes packed with a very nice 8th gen Core i7-8700 and a high-end RTX 2080. Only one step down from NVIDIA's most powerful 20 series ray tracing focused graphics powerhouse. It also boasts a speedy 256GB SSD and a generous 2TB standard HDD. So you'll have plenty of room to load your most demanding games onto the faster storage and tons of leftover room for everything else. While the Obelisk case is smaller than the similarly specced Vengeance, it's not tiny by any means and the air cooling solution the Obelisk provides has been, more than has been more than sufficient during testing to handle even heavy gaming loads. It does make swapping out components slightly trickier than the Vengeance's massive dual chamber case. Of course, but that also means it'll fit more easily into smaller spaces. The Obelisk tucks neatly under a desk or can even slide into a larger entertainment center if you want it to be the central unit in your living room media showcase. The number 5 position is held by Alienware Aurora Ryzen R10. The Aurora Ryzen R10 series is a Ryzen built entry into the Aurora series. All sporting 3rd gen AMD Ryzen processors rather than the usual Intel processors. The former have massively closed the gap on the latter in recent years and months so it's not real surprise to see an Alienware PC range specifically offering that kind of CPU. So it's no real surprise to see an Alienware PC range specifically offering that kind of CPU. Focused around the Ryzen CPU though, you can fully customize your Aurora R10 however you want, which means that whether you're a console gamer looking to break into PC gaming or a die-hard veteran who wants the ultimate build, you will find it here. The Alienware brand name comes with the usual price premium that most Alienware products have but if you can't overcome that and want the respective premium quality that also comes with the name, then the Spaceship-inspired R10 design is for you. Especially since the Alienware Command Center is a useful bit of kit packed in. The main downsides are that it can get somewhat loud. Almost as if it is a spaceship engine trying to take off and accessing the components within 
isn't an easy task thanks to the placement of the PSU cage. You can definitely do much worse than buying a pre-built PC though, and the Ryzen Nvidia Blend is a brilliant one that offers exquisite performance. The number 4 position is dominated by Alienware Aurora R11. The Alienware Aurora R11 is leading Alienware into the next generation of gaming, as well as 10th gen Intel processors and the possibility of liquid-cooled graphics card. It offers a variety of builds to suit most budgets. If you want to get into PC gaming for the first time or would like to upgrade your existing setup, perhaps to soak up all the joyous ray tracing games, this is the most cost-effective way to do it. Ranging from affordable starter rigs to pimped out super PCs, the Aurora R11 strikes a good balance of choice. Better still, these desktops can be easily opened and upgraded with different parts as and when you see fit. Want more RAM? Or a larger SSD? No problem, because the power supply units swing out on a metal arm, you get more room to fiddle with the PC's insides. The R11's design builds on the already attractive R9 too. Although it sticks with the distinctive case and scooped out front of its processor, this update enriches that formula with new lighting around the central strip in some cases. It's an addition that turns heads and makes the design feel even more futuristic than it did before. Moving on to the next at number 3 with Dell G5 Gaming Desktop. Away for Dell's Alienware gaming nutters, the PC Maker's own brand G Series desktop PCs are underrated machines. They often provide a great budget or entry level route into gaming PCs and are not an afterthought. They get updates as much as any of the other desktops or laptops available at Dell. The really entry-level ones won't do gang-busting numbers or levels of graphical fidelity, but they will be great PCs to have at home for work and play. Now that the baseline is the 10th generation of Intel chips, this is another factor to work in their favor, particularly as the baseline is the 16 series of Nvidia cards which will handle anything just fine. And you can choose one well into the ray tracing range including the 2070 Super. Their compact form is also a plus side, while Dell's aftercare, should you need it, is pretty good too. A value busting quality entry in this list. The number 2 position is held by Corsair One i164. The Corsair One series is incredibly small and lightweight, at least considering how much power it's packing, and has an attractive form factor. As a step up option from Corsair's flashier, but more modestly outfitted Vengeance model, the Corsair has a few advantages that will primarily appeal to those looking for more workload capability and who are focused on gaming as a more secondary concern. The Corsair 1 is decidedly a workstation focused rig, though it certainly doesn't slouch in the gaming department either. The 1 comes in a few flavors, but the best dollars to performance value is in the package around $3,000 mark. It's built around an RTX 2080 Ti and contains a 960GB SSD and a 2TB HDD. It also has the impressive i9-9900K Intel processor which still offers some mega gaming chops despite the new 10th gen CPUs now going. And also, in a nod to megatastic workload scenarios, it packs a lot of RAM at 32GB of DDR4-2666. It will manhandle modern games at 4K with ease, and it's also suitable for heavy rendering, CAD, or other workstation style applications. It's sort of the ultimate gaming workstation hybrid, though if you find your bank balance is absolutely bursting with discretionary income, first, call me. But second, you might also want to consider the top option in the Corsair family. The ridiculous $5,000 option includes the wildly overpowered i9-9920X CPU, which Intel insists on describing, and probably rightly so, as the best processor for gaming. Finally, the number one position is dominated by CyberPower PC Gaming Extreme. This offers great bang for buck value. The CyberPower Gamer Extreme, housing an Intel Core i5-9400F and Nvidia's GTX 1660, is a great PC to rock the current generation of games and do it all for well under the 4-figure mark. Even beyond that, 
and branching into the increasingly large world of VR, this machine will get you there on a shoestring. It's VR ready right out of the box and will be easy to upgrade when newer, more fancy headsets become more available. The Extreme is also great for anyone looking for a PC to match the capabilities of current gen consoles, something that will bridge the gap between the PS4 and Xbox and Xbox One era of games and the next console generation. And the Gamer Extreme is also modular and upgradable enough to allow you to quickly adapt when specs for the next generation are finally properly announced. On that note, we would probably aim to get another 8GB of RAM into this upgrade friendly rig as soon as you can though. That's all for today. We upload product review videos every single day. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.